All right, guys, we're back on Clover Creek. That's right, and we're gonna fire up something new. Let's do this thing, pitter patter. Oh man, guys, I am so pumped. We're gonna be trying out something a little different out here, but you know what? <laughs> Look at this truck. Uh, I decided it's, it's time we wash. We wash this thing up quickly. It's a mess. I've been kind of cruising around here in uh, the summer here, just getting a little little bit dirty. Look at how caked it is. That is ridiculous. Anyways, so we bought, um, well, that pellet, uh, the pellet baler that we've been kind of looking at the last couple days here I've been talking about, and uh, we want to get that business up and running. There we go. Good enough. Cool. Um, you know what? We'll take this. Let's go take this with us, and we're going to go walk around, go over into the shop here. Um, anyways, so the pellet business, we're going to get that up and fired up as well. So I had to take out a loan for, well, <laughs> that, uh, that baler. That thing is not cheap. Um, so that's going to be the start. We're kind of doing this on the cheap as much as we can. All right, leave that there. Let's clean this up while we're here. So the baler, we've got that purchased. And the new tractor, well, it was about a $100,000 upgrade, guys. We sold the, uh, we traded in the Warrior. So you might remember the Deutz Root Warrior we had. Uh, now we've got, well, the new one. That is, the Warrior is essentially is the, uh, the 7 Series. I think it's 7 Series, and now we're 9 Series, the bull, I think. I think that's the size off the top of my head. I can't remember now off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, anyways, horsepower was our issue. We were maxed out around 100, 263 some odd, 270 horsepower ish with the uh, with the Warrior. We don't have a problem with that anymore. We're up in the 400s, low 400s now with the uh, the Bull, and we can upgrade that if we uh, if we need. Man, this thing is a mess too. 6230. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have put you in here. I've been sitting here for like two days, all messy. Oh, messy. Anyways, we'll get this all shone up. That looks better. So, plans for today. we got to uh, cut some grass. And then we've got to uh, see if we can get them some hay pellets. Uh, hopefully we have time today. It's 11 o'clock already. We'll see if we can get some grass cut right off the bat here. Now, we did make that field down uh, down by the, the new dealership there. And you guys might remember that. Um, let's push this back all the way out. You know what? We can put this in the corner for now. That can go right there. Nice. Um, we made the, uh, the new field that's out down by the dealership way down south well not way down south a little ways down south we could go down and probably cut that i want to see if we can cut the grass here first we'll start with this and then maybe we'll head that way um yeah anyways we've got the john deere here we've got the mikhail uh mowers in there that little pack but first i do need to fix one minor little problem um it's nothing major but the front of this john deere she doesn't have a three-point hitch we need to uh, modify we need to do some modifications to this thing and see if we can bring a pto all the way through and uh yeah, anyways, give me a little bit. I'm going to fix this thing up. All right, three-point hitch is mounted. We are good to go. We should be able to get this up and running now. There we go. Back this bad boy on out. And uh, yeah, let's go hook up to our uh, our mowers. So we got two mowers front and rear we're going to use on this one just to get as wide of a swath as possible. It'll help us get through uh, these fields a little bit quicker, hopefully. Now, these are both Mikhail uh, mowers. We got the one in the front. We got one in the back here. I'm going to go with this one on the rear, and then just the little guy up front. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll connect to this one here as well. We'll get these out in the field, guys. And, uh, you know what? There's a field down towards where I plan on building the house that I want to connect to. Come out of our new little shop here, down the ramp. Yeah, it's a little bit steep still, but it's not bad. It's, it isn't bad. I think it's okay. Anyways, well, let's go. All right, so we've got this field right here. This is where I want to start. So this is field grass. Now, we've planted grass down at our new uh, our new farm, the new case dealership area, um, but I want to see what we get off this. So let's start with this and see what we get. I have no idea if there's going to be a difference or not as far as our yields go, but let's cut this. Let's get rid of this and see what happens. Um, hopefully, hopefully, this is just as good, if not better. I have no idea what to expect there. Uh, drop this. There we go. Fire this up. And fire this up. Nice. All right. So we're going to need to windrow this afterwards, of course, as well. Uh, we don't have that as an option with these devices. They are, well, just a wide swath is all we're going to get off of this. So I do need to come back through here and windrow this. That's not a problem. Oh, it's a little bit rough through there, isn't it? Excellent. Perfect. All right. So that's, <laughs> look at that. That's actually a pretty wide swath, guys. All the way down to our new barn down here. I still do not have a combine. And you're going to see that while we spent quite a bit of money um, between 
Well, between the, the upgrade for our tractor, um, uh, Deutz is now up to, well, that was a $100,000 upgrade. And then not to mention the fact that we owe now on, uh, well, we have the mortgage still on the new the new area, the, the dealership as well. Guys, we owe on that uh, that baler as well, the pellet baler. Yeah, that's it's a lot of cash that's going to be coming out. And hopefully we can make our money back on pellets. Uh, that's kind of what I need that thing for. So if we can make, you know, 100,000 bucks over the next couple of days off that, just to kind of make it so it's worthwhile, um, that would be fantastic. Now, 100,000 bucks, we'll see. We'll see if we can come close to that. So I've got this field here. I've got the other field ready to go as well. I mean, I could go crazy and try to get all the grass here. I don't think that's necessary. So we need to wait for this to turn to hay. That's one of the problems as well. So hopefully the weather stays good. Otherwise, I'm going to run into some issues there. If it stays nice and warm the way it is, 22 degrees, no rain, then we should be golden. We sh in theory, in theory, we should be golden. So I'm going to cut this all up and we'll uh, make a run, run down below as well. See if we can cut that other big field up. I think we should be okay. Hopefully. I don't know yet. <laughs> the other problem I've got, guys, we've only got a small little trailer uh, to unload in. Just a little pull-behind trailer. That's something we need to consider as well. I missed a whole bunch there, didn't I? Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, a lot of space to move yet as far as moving a lot of product. So that's going to be problem number two. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this is what happens when you start off with a cheap, right? You got you to gotta make do with a lot more runs or a smaller equipment or just harder work and i think that's the problem we're going to run into with this and since we're trying to keep our costs down as much as possible for this first season that's uh, really what's going to happen all right get around this tree keep on cutting all right quick field all mowed up that should be no time at all really the grand scheme of things that literally, literally took us like five ten minutes um we'll just get around here grab this last little bit and guys we're gonna head down towards the dealership now and I want to cut that field up. I'm sure we've got grass down there that can be mowed. Um, get all the rest of that. Excellent. Let's fire this off. We'll lift all this stuff up. All right. We should be good. Good to go. Let's get on the road here. We'll head back to the farm. Uh, we're going to head back down below towards the new dealership. And uh, nothing there yet. We still, like I said, I don't have the cash. I, I can't finance. I can't bankroll that yet. But we got the property. We got lots of... Uh, Lots of room. Do I want to go down? No, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, yes I do. I forgot there's two different ways down this way. Um, we've got the extra property down there now, so hopefully that will help us be able to afford to buy the new stuff when we want to buy some new equipment uh, to be able to put on sale there, but I can't I can't have something sitting there right now without being able to have the chance to sell things. It was raised, right? Yeah, good. Um, it's just too expensive, guys. It's way too expensive. Cool. All right. So this is coming out. We'll get our hazards on here right away. Nothing coming. Nothing coming. No, no cement trucks today. Go, 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 go. The worst thing about these is you got that little beeper that goes off constantly with the uh, with the hazard lights. Drives me bananas. <laughs> All right. Right down to the end of the road. Man, having this three point hitch on this John Deere just makes it so much more useful. Uh, that's a nice little add-on for sure uh, and really cost us next to nothing 2500 bucks is what that the add-on costs us so definitely a worthwhile addition all right up we go to the dealer through the woods over here look at this crop coming up wow that looks great um we'll go around the back side of this and over to that grass field we planted just the other day back in early spring i guess it would have been but um, the grass comes up pretty quick, so we should be good to go here. Let's see, if I go around the shops over here. Oh, look at that field. Mess of, we made of that. Um, you know what? I don't really want this to be up here. I'm going to make a bit of a mess here. We're going to cut through here. That's fine. We'll, we'll kibosh a little bit of the field. So this here is the actual grass field. So we actually planted this. You can see there's still the lime. But this is field grass, and that's regular grass. I'm curious to see... If this is going to get us any more of a yield, I have no idea what to expect here, guys. Oh, we got to lower this all down. Get this all lowered down. Nice. Drop this down. Fire this on up. Fire that on up. And we should be good to go and start cutting some grass. Excellent. All right. So, I, like I said, I have zero clue if this is going to give us any different kind of a yield versus the field grass. Turn hazards off, I suppose. Um, it's possible. It's definitely possible. 
But the big thing is, is just the size of this field. I mean, this is a good size field. Look at that canola. Holy, that's not our field, unfortunately, guys. But look at the canola. It's blinding. It's so bright. I'm going to go inside. There we go. We got our tinted windows inside, our 7230. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's a lot of canola. Man, I'd like to have that. So we'll see how this turns out. This is, like I said, I have no idea if this is going to give us anything more for yield. I have a funny feeling it's going to be very similar, but this, this field's been limed. It has been plowed. It has been fertilized. Whereas the field crop, guys, it's just a field. I mean, I've done nothing to it, so... Hopefully this gives us something more. Man, if it doesn't give us more, like more crop per per uh, acre, that would be disappointing. Around the corner we go. Sweet, look at that. That's a nice swath we got back there. Cutting right through it all. Make sure I'm not going into this guy's field. That would be embarrassing. Well, I'm getting a little bit of that field crop, but that's okay. Look like a weird, look at this little shape in here. Kind of bizarre. It got like this weird little semicircle. What if there was like a crop circle here at one point in time? Whatever happened to the crop circles? <laughs> Is that still a thing? Do people still do crop circles? I don't remember. I remember being younger and that was always like the, the thing. People were always trying to figure out how, what made them, right? That was before it was discovered there was some dude that was actually out in his field messing with people. I don't know. I think it's funny still. It's still a good urban legend. All right, looking pretty good. Uh, get on up on top here. Man, this is actually a really big field. Look at that. It's like the Windows entry screen. You look up on the side here. That's like the Windows Vista uh, start screen, isn't it? <laughs> if it was just mirrored, that looks cool. I should take a picture of that and post it. That's great. All right, couple up around. See, I missed a little bit in the corners here. But we also use that interesting little uh, grass mower or grass planter. And it seems like it worked fairly well. I mean, it only took us a couple days for this grass to come on up. Oh, she's struggling, boys. Let's go. Get up there. She's struggling. Get up there. Nice. All right. I think we're okay. I think it's going to be all right. We're good. Come back around. This is going to take us a few passes, though. This is not going to be as quick as that other field. We'll see. Once again, last couple passes. This one took us a little longer, for sure. This is a big field. Man, I didn't think that this grass field was going to be that big when we, uh, when we picked up this piece of plot of land, guys. But it is definitely, it's a good size. Look at all the grass we got here. I'm curious to see how, how well this is going to turn out once we windrow all this up. Uh, that's really going to be the question. That's, it's so tough to tell. There's, it doesn't stack very well right now. So we get a windrower out here. we we'll do that right away, actually. It's something we can do while we're waiting for this to cure. That is, uh, well, since we, we need to wait for it to cure, we can't make pellets with grass. We need hay. And we, we can't make hay just by making hay. It's a great day to make hay, but uh, we can't really make hay by ourselves. We need the sun to do that for us, so we're going to have to wait. Uh, let's lift this up. Let's lift that up. Put that away. All right, back to the farm we go. Let's go grab that windrower. We'll windrow both these fields up. All right, all done. Look how dirty this is. This is crazy. Look how dirty it is. I made an absolute mess of this stuff. The mud out here is ridiculous. It's just like a clay. That's craziness. Uh, the tractor fared pretty well, but the mowers... Not so well, guys. Not so well. Anyways, um, I've got the windrower parked. Uh, I think we got it back behind our shop. I haven't moved everything around yet. I need to start storing stuff a bit better here. I just have not got around to it yet. Uh, we'll go around this way. It's fine. We'll go around this way. So we should have it. Oh, wait. It's actually right behind the, the trailer there. That's right. Let's go. Sweet. There it is. Right there. We've got the John Deere. Uh, wind rower. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully we can get through this field pretty quick. But like I said, we can't do anything else with this until it turns to hay. Uh, whoa. Stop. Uh, we need to wait until this turns to hay, guys. There's nothing we can do about that. It's, it is what it is. So we, the pellets will not be made with grass. Of course, we need hay. So let's open this on up. Nice. Uh, we'll start right down the bottom corner there. Down by the barn. And work our way out. So my plan, I'm thinking, is we'll make the pellets and uh, we'll transport them down to the shop building, that big shop building we've got down at uh, the case dealership there. That's the best storage place, I think, for that. Oh, man, that's a big windrow. Hopefully, I can handle it. We're going to find out. All right. Nice. Let's see if we can get around through this tree. Should be... Man, I, that's actually a pretty wide swath we got on this thing. That's good. That's decent. Um, yeah, so we'll head around this field here. We'll do the other field as well. Get some windrows made up. But 
yeah, storage is going to be a bit of a problem for me still on this stuff, guys. I don't know what to expect as far as volume goes on where we can store yet. Um, I don't know if we can modify our silo system to accept pellets. Is that an option? That might be something. Um, also, I, otherwise, I'll just store it down in that big warehouse. That's an option. They've got some some dry area. We can we can dump everything there. That might be our best option for the time being. Uh, and then start analyzing prices. And I don't know. We're the only ones in town making pellets. So uh, that's not going to be an issue there, at least. Wow, this is uh, this is quite a bit of grass. <laughs> Look at that. That's a that's a good size windrow, guys. I hope we can handle this. Um, I know he was saying you don't want to have a big windrow on that device. It'll uh, it'll struggle with it. So hopefully, hopefully this is not too much. But we'll find out soon enough. This is quite a bit of hay, though. Well, grass right now. Soon to be hay. Soon to be hay. All right, both fields are already done. Look at this. That was actually really quite quick. Um, we can make a pretty big dent in windrow in these fields. And this should make our lives just, well, a little bit easier at least. Um, the big problem we're running into with that particular unit, it's a six mile an hour max. And, uh, well, we, these are pretty big fields. This field especially is a good size, of course. The other field isn't isn't that big. But this one here, guys, this thing is definitely going to... It's going to take some time to get around. One last pass here. And fold this thing on up. There she goes. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Well, that's that's it, guys. That's all we need to do. With I mean, we got some waiting around to do now. Let's watch as this thing folds on up. Um, head back to the farm. But we need to uh, we need to get some product. We, there's one thing we do need to get, and that's some molasses for that thing. So we need to prep that for uh, whenever the hay is ready. It shouldn't take too long. We got a nice hot day today, 25 degrees Celsius, and uh, we got a little bit of a breeze coming through, I think, as well. So this should actually should dry out and turn to hay. I would think before the end of the day. Look at I'm rhyming. I'm rhyming. <laughs> Turn to hay by the end of the day. Great day for hay. Um, yeah, so it should be turning pretty quick. It should cure and we should have hay before before too, too long. Which is what I'm hoping for. Back on up the hill. Back over to the farm. Let's go prep that stuff up. Let's we'll see if we can get it loaded with... Uh, I think it's molasses and water we got to get. We got to order some... We have some molasses coming in on a shipment. Should be there actually by the time we get back. Molasses is already showing up. Look at this. We got two pallets full. This should do us for quite a bit. I think I didn't even know. I didn't have a clue how much we should order. I got two. They're only a hundred bucks a pallet. So like next to nothing. Who cares? hundred bucks. That's fine. The 200 bucks I spent on that. Let's grab uh, our doits over here and we'll bring the new crone pellet maker with us. Let's load this thing up with our molasses. We need to get some water in this thing as well. I've got uh, a fire hydrant hidden around backside of our shop. Of course, we need a fire hydrant on our farm, of course, just in case, right? And uh, we'll take water from that and we'll fill that up. Oh, she still has that brand new tractor smell too. So nice. All right, let's pull this right up alongside. I'll dump a few of these jugs on in. You know what? We need to get nice and close here. Nice and close and in. Get a little bit in interpersonal here. All right. Perfect. So we'll load these on up. Dump those in. Looks good. Okay, so we used about half the first pallet, and then she's already full. Let's go fill this thing up with water next. And uh, we should be just waiting then. From now on, guys, we're just waiting for... Oh, man, I'm not going to fit there. Uh, we're just waiting for this, this hay to cure. That's all we're waiting for. Through the middle. Let's go get some water. All right, welcome back. It's six hours. A little, little, little bit six hours later, I guess. And we have hay. Hay is ready to be harvested or picked up in the field. We got water in our new uh, pellet maker. We're good to go. Let's jump on in. Go to town. Around the corner. Oh, this thing. With these duels, you don't turn so sharp. So I've got... Uh, it's about a 19,000 liter uh, bin back there. That's what we're using for that. That's going to be what we're going to load into. And uh, I haven't decided where I'm going to drop it off. I might even put it in the shop floor here. We'll see. Let's fire this on up. Drop our head down. I think we're good to go, guys. Let's do this thing. Now, hopefully, we can get this nice and centered up. Looks good. All right, how are we doing for pickup? Looks like we're picking up everything we need. Nice. Okay. All right, this is great. We're making pellets. Making pellets. All right, guys, we ran into a slight problem. Um, for some reason, it doesn't want to take more than 5%. There we go. 
I get 5% into the bin and it locks up. That's as much as I can put in there. That's it. That's all. I can unload this and redo it again. But every time I put in 5%, it's going to do the exact same thing. And I am... I can't do that. Um, I, can, I need to figure out something else. We may need to bail this quickly. Well, that might be the option. I'm going to see if we can get a bailer from the shop. We'll bail this up and blow bales in here. Maybe that will fix our problem. Maybe? I don't know yet. Uh, that's really not good. That sucks. We're going to have to wait and figure out that tomorrow. But uh, we ran out of time today. Man, I can't believe that didn't work. I wonder what we broke. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what the problem is. Why I'm only getting 5% in there. But uh, we've done it a couple of times now. And we're only getting 5% in each time. It's definitely hay. This is a bit of an odd map for hay, mind you. Maybe it's the map? I don't know yet. I don't know. But anyways, we did get... We get 5% every time. As you can see, we put in 5% in our bin. Uh, but that's all we're getting. Sweet. All right, well, we'll see if we can make some pallets. I'll work on getting some uh, bales made with this. And then we'll throw some bales in there and try that tomorrow. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Sorry we didn't figure it out at the end here, but we'll see if we can figure it out tomorrow. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, I'll catch you next time. From Cloverfield. Cloverfield. Clover Creek. This is Clutch. Over and out.